if it were where you had a global flood, I would expect a higher percentage of animals being fossilized. And I'd also expect them to be uh, more heterogeneous, more mixed together and finding things that don't live well, next to each other. Well, we've had geologists on like John Mackay and Joe Hubbard. Find them that way. And, and, and they're, they work directly in the field and they've pointed out that wherever they look, wherever they dig, they find mixed environments, sharks mi mixed with land creatures, mixed right. with various plants. And this sorting of the fossil record challenge, it's fallacious, okay? Take for example, coelacanth. That was said to have gone extinct millions of years ago. We don't find coelacanths buried in the fossil record with what? Whales. But yet today we find coelacanths swimming around today, <laughs> swimming around nicely. So we know they lived and live with whales and humans, but we don't find them buried together in the fossil record. What does that prove? It doesn't prove anything. Does it prove that they never lived with whales? Well, wait a minute. Clearly they live today with whales. And so just because we don't find, let's say, a human buried with a, a plesiosaur, well, it just means they weren't hanging out. And it's even more interesting with coelacanth. Coelacanth lives in the ocean and so does a whale. Why don't we find them buried together in the fossil record? Well, well I would think you would find a lot more of the examples. And uh, I'm, Okay, well, yeah, but I, I want you to answer my question. Why don't we find coelacanth and whales buried in the fossil record together? Does because that mean fossil, they didn't live together? Um, most of the things that die on the ocean floor get eaten and decompose very quickly. And there may be somewhat where somewhere, it, but the fact that we don't find them really isn't that big of a problem considering you're, you're talking about a creature that um, is kind of rare with the whale um, deposits. You're dealing with the larger bones that are going to be more likely to be fossilized. I really can't uh, uh, explain well, exactly you would agree why that you don't. They, right. No, exactly. But, and that's the whole point. So for, for an old earth creationist to say, oh, well, why don't we find humans buried with a mosasaur or a megalodon? I can ask the same question. Why don't we find a coelacanth buried with a human? Oh, wait a minute. Coelacanths live today and humans live today. 